Welcome back. Thirsty Thursday time. Local whiskey fans have probably heard of the famed Multnomah Whiskey Library in downtown Portland. The membership based bar housing hundreds of spirits from all over the world. But did you know under the library is a space called the Green Room, an environmentally conscious cocktail bar with a more casual vibe. So joining us now to talk about what's on their menu and what makes the Green Room special. We have general manager Lonnie Sickman. We also have spirits curator and education manager Brett Adams. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and cheers to the green room. I yeah. was cheers. we were just talking during the break. This is like one of my favorite little spots. I always tell friends who want to go to the Multnomah Whiskey Library, haven't been able to get that reservation yet. I'm like, you guys, have you heard of the green room? It's it's the must go spot. So tell us about it and uh, and how this kind of got started in in connection with the whiskey library. Yeah, so the Green Room actually opened um, a few years after we opened the library in 2016, um, and it really kind of set out to be a um, classic cocktail bar. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's kind of like, you know, I think with everything we've evolved as time has come, has uh, you know, gone on, but um, we really try to focus on classic cocktails that have been mm -hmm. updated for the modern palette. Mm -hmm. um, the wonderful thing about it is that it's all the same stuff, so the same like amazing, talented staff we have right. making these seasonal cocktails in the library are also making these cocktails for the green room and right. really thinking about perfecting these recipes. Yeah, classic cocktail bar that is whiskey library level of, of talent and lovely things to imbibe. Yes. I know, I was entranced by just looking at the cocktails that we were featuring on their screen right there. So uh -huh. tell us about the kind of cocktails that you serve there. Are you saying it's the same staff making them? Same staff, same talent. Um, but what we do upstairs is really focus on creativity and new menus all the time. And what we want to do downstairs to differentiate was really think about classic cocktails and how we could put our precision that we focus on upstairs into the classic cocktail canon. Mm -hmm. And we have 2,000 bottles upstairs. We have so many flavors to use. We could really pick the exact right ingredients for every recipe we focus on. So yeah. upstairs, we've really kind of made the cornerstone the old fashioned. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make a cornerstone cocktail for the green room as well. And that became the martini. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Not just whiskey over there. You can enjoy <laughs> a martini in the green room. So what are we doing today? So the martini was uh, originally published. The first recipe was published in 1888. Mm -hmm. So we looked back to those original recipes, thought about the idea of the cocktail. And it was really about balancing the botanical notes of gin and the botanical notes of vermouth. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't just pick one gin and one vermouth. We picked six. Oh, wow. And we got really specific. Cody, our lead bartender, and I spent like 15 hours oh. developing one cocktail, oh my gosh. utilizing six you know, six different bottles. There's five here because one of them is out of stock, oh, wow. and we're going to be changing our recipe and picking a new one. So we got another 15 hours to figure that out. Oh my um, gosh. But we blended three different gins together, focusing on the different notes that they work, uh, they provide to the drink, and then three different vermouths together. Wow. Finding, and then we pre-dilute it. Uh -huh. um, put it in the freezer so when you're ready to order it, it comes out right away. Okay. And it's perfect every single time. I've heard of that as a tip for like the at-home host as well. If you know you're going to be entertaining, yeah, yeah. you could pre-batch your cocktails and stick them in the freezer. They won't freeze because it's alcohol. Yeah. 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 That the is so great. Of alcohol, Taking yeah. good mental notes because <laughs> I've always wanted to, you know, up my bartending game. Uh -huh. So this is very, very cool. Yeah. It's super fun. So I'm happy to pour you one if you'd like yes, to try it. Yes, please. Okay, it. You yeah. did the hard work pre-mixing yeah. for us. So we're just pouring them out this morning with a couple different classic garnishes, I see. Yeah, so we mm -hmm. can do either a lemon twist or an olive. Uh, either one Cheers. works great. They're traditional. If you go back far enough, a cherry is also traditional. Really? Nice. Yeah. Interesting. Um, they are one of my favorite cocktails, and I think Check it showcases the precision that we do in the bar. Uh -huh. um, another really fun part about our cocktails in the green room is that we uh, utilize selling cocktails in the green room to raise money for local charities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us big, more about that. Uh, we, every quarter, pick a environmental or a social cause that we're gonna raise money for. We uh, choose to donate $2,500 to that cause, and we partner with uh, a brand to match that donation. So every year we, we raise about $20,000. What oh, organization are you awesome. working with now? Uh, right now it's the Raphael House. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so a great way to go out, have a good drink, give back, and then of course, if you're gonna be enjoying some cocktails, always nice to have some nibbles with it too. Mm -hmm. The Green Room's food menu is pretty fantastic. It is. Um, we focus on locally uh, made produce and products as much as we can. Mm -hmm. um, it's always constantly changing with the seasons. Um, we really try to um, honor like all the things that the Northwest has available, um, you know, from oysters to local produce to um, 
you know, cheeses when we can as well. And so all of that is also available, like all the way up to close the full menu. Um, we have a great happy hour. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we also participate in West End Wednesdays where you can do $2 oysters, Ooh. Uh, as well as enjoy this martini, which I have to say is an amazing pairing. Um, I don't think you can find a better way to spend an afternoon. So. Well, cheers to that. Shall we toast to Thirsty Thursday? <laughs> Lonnie, Brett, thank you should. both for being thank here. You. Thanks, cheers to a classic martini. What better way to enjoy a good cocktail than at the Green Room? If you want to learn more, it's located right under the Whiskey Library on Southwest Alder in downtown. No reservations required. Check out mwlpdx.com for more. Happy Thirsty Thursday, everybody. Cheers. See you tomorrow. <laughs>